We will show you how to restore your Apple ID with a recovery key, even if you forgot your password and lost access to all of your devices. Hello everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics. If you're only interested in how to recover your Apple ID with a recovery key, then jump to the recovery key new device section approximately seven minutes into the video. Overall, the video is dedicated to exploring everything you need to know about Apple's recovery key. Recovery keys add an additional layer of security and protect against losing access to your account, even if you forget your password and lose access to all of your devices. This is information from Apple about data recovery service, and it tells you specifically for certain information, iCloud data recovery service will not recover all of your data. The only way to recover all of your data, this is from Apple, is to use a recovery key. We'll go into account recovery. So what we're going to explore now is generating a recovery key. So we'll click here, and this talks about how to generate a recovery key and it will put you in control of being able to generate and reset your own password if you've lost access to your account. Now, the thing to keep in mind is it says if you lose both your devices and this recovery key, that you could be locked out of your account, but that's not true because if you do, you will be locked out of your account. So if you lose all your devices, your password, and you lose this recovery key, you're not getting back in. If you trust yourself more than you trust Apple to recover your data, then proceed to get a security recovery key for your account. We're going to go step by step and show you through the video how to generate this key. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll show you multiple ways to secure this key so that you never lose access to it. In addition to the Apple recovery key, you can enhance your Apple ID protection even more by adding a hardware security key. Click on the link above for more information. Now we'll walk through the steps on creating the key using the iPhone, and you just go to settings, come up to your Apple ID, go to password and security, click on that, and then under here where it says account recovery, select account recovery, and right now you can see iCloud data recovery service is highlighted, and the recovery key, even though it says on here, is off. So we're turning it on. Once you turn on the recovery key, this is an important message from Apple, again, telling you if you lose your recovery key and can't access your device, Apple won't be able to help you regain access. You just need to do that with eyes wide open. So we're gonna select use recovery key. It will ask you to authenticate to the phone. And once you've authenticated to the phone, it will generate the key. Now we're not done yet because we have to make a copy of this key. What we're going to do is make a screenshot of the key. We're going to paste this into WordPad because now what we have to do is we have to re-enter this key. Come down and click continue and enter the key. Once you've authenticated the key to the phone, it will sync that to the account. Now you can see recovery key is on. What I wanna do is go back over to your Apple account and we'll go to account recovery. Now you can see the key is on. And this is the only indication that you're going to have that a key is associated with the account is either through logging on through the web and looking in the recovery key section or drilling down through the iOS phone and getting to the recovery key setting. It's a good idea to validate whether there's a key on the account. There could be one associated with the account and you might not even know it. If at some future date you decide you no longer want a recovery key associated with the account, it's as simple as coming back into here and turning it off. Now that we've showed you how to create a recovery key for your account, I thought it'd be a good idea to go through some of the procedures to recover your account if you possibly lost your device and your password. So you can go directly to get support from Apple and they have a chat and call option. This is not something that's gonna happen on an Android account with Gmail. So phenomenal support here that you can actually contact someone. Unfortunately, if you have a recovery key, these options are not going to work for you. 
Next, they give you three options here. The first option is to reset your password while signing on to a new device, and they have procedures here on how to do that. The next option is use someone else's iOS device or use an iOS device at an Apple store. These basically entail the same procedure. And we're going to demo that process on iPhone because it still will require you to have the recovery key. That's going to entail going to the App Store and downloading a particular app. Okay, so on the left, we have the signed in iPhone device. And on the right, we have the device that we've either lost the password and or lost the device itself. And it's a new device and we're trying to get back into our account. So what we've done is downloaded the support app that was listed on the previous web page. We'll open that up. Down here, we want to reset password, so we'll select that option. Next, we'll go to a different Apple ID, since we're trying to recover someone else's ID using the phone. Then we'll click Continue. Once we've entered the Apple ID, we have to have access to the trusted number. You do not want to have your cell phone number tied to the Apple ID on the device that you could potentially lose or it gets stolen. Because you see at that point, if it's texting your trusted device that you've lost or that's gotten stolen, there's no way you're going to get back into your account. Next, we'll select send the code to the phone number. And you see we have this code on a VOIP number here. That way, even if we lost the device, we could still get access to the phone number. And now you can see here we have to enter the recovery key. And this is on someone else's trusted device that they're logged into. That You can actually use it to recover your account. Next, we'll go into a brand new device. Let's assume that either you lost it, it was stolen, and you have a new device and you want to authenticate to your account that has a recovery key. We'll demonstrate that process. So the scenario is you've either lost your device, the device was stolen, or the device was damaged, and you've forgotten your password. So we'll go in here and sign in on a new device. We'll click here, forgot password, or don't have ID. Click it again. Type in your Apple ID. Once you put in the ID, you're gonna to have to have access to that trusted number. So once again, if you put this trusted number on the device that's potentially lost, stolen, or damaged, you will not get access to your account. So you need to put a number that's not on the device that's potentially lost, stolen, or damaged. In this case, we're using our VOIP number, and we'll say send a code. Over here, you can see we have an Apple ID code that has been sent, 618022. Now that we've verified the phone number, it's gonna ask us to enter the recovery key. So on the right hand side of the screen there, you see we have the recovery key. Press enter. Now we can enter our new password. Not showing that on the screen due to security reasons. We'll click next. And you can see we're signing back into the account. We're back into the account. So that required us to have access to the Apple ID, the recovery key, and the trusted phone number. So even though you have the recovery key, you're gonna need all three of those to be able to recover an account if you've lost the device and you've lost the password. Can't emphasize enough, please do not tie the cell phone number to the device that's potentially going to be lost. Because the weak point in all of this, if you lose access to your trusted number, you've lost access to your account if the device is gone and you don't have any other device authenticated to the account. At the beginning of the video, we promised to show you multiple ways to safeguard the recovery key once it was generated. The most technologically advanced way is to write it on a piece of paper. Take that piece of paper and find a secure location, personal safe, safe deposit box, wherever you're confident that that piece of paper will be protected. The next thing to consider is a web-based method that you could host the key so that no matter where you're at in the world, you would be able to get access to it as long as you had an internet connection. Our recommendation is to use Bitwarden. There's links to the videos that we've done on Bitwarden above. It's both a password manager and a secure vault. Once you've selected your web-based method, put that key into the system and secure it with a hardware security key. Once you've added a hardware security key, we recommend that you add a backup security key. These keys make it practically impossible for a hacker to get into your account 
because they have to be in physical possession of the key to access your data. If you're not familiar with security keys, there's a link to the videos that we've done above. After that, take that security key and also place it into a secure location so that you'll always have access to it. And what's our personal recommendation for securing your recovery key? All of these. I recommend that you do each of these procedures to protect that key to make sure that you'll always have access to it. This concludes our video demonstration of protecting your Apple ID and data with a recovery key. Would you please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel? This supports our efforts in helping others with technology. Post any questions or comments below and have a great and wonderful automation day.